Hello, everyone, and welcome to week five of Celebrate Wonder. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. I am Miss Lori. This is Laud the Lamb, and Pastor Meredith is with us as well. And who's with you? Hi, everybody. It's Pastor Meredith. Welcome, of course, to Celebrate Wonder. Hey, this is my friend Fiona the Hippo. Aww. She's my new friend, and uh, she wanted to share everything that we were doing today. So I was like, well, come with me, Fiona. You can come do Celebrate Wonder, and you can meet Miss Laurie and Laud the Lamb. Say hi. She's saying hi in hippo. Yeah. That's yeah. hi in hippo. He's... Hello. He's excited yeah. that you have a friend with you. And I'm excited, you... too. And you're going to share her with us. Which is interesting because that happens to be our new word. Excellent. Well, it sounds to me like we need to head into our wonder table and get going with our stuff. So, hey, everybody, remember we're doing week five. So you want to get your week five materials out. And again, we want to welcome you to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church and celebrate wonder for this week. And let's head into our wonder tables. It's going to be a lot of fun to share together. He agreed. All right, see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, we're at our wonder table. Might look very similar to where we just were, but it's our wonder table, and it's time to light our wonder table candle. Now, I'm outside. We'll see how well this goes, okay? So here we go. We're going to light the candle, not the lamb. Maybe, maybe not. I didn't light the hippo. I just lit the candle. Hello. Hello. We're gonna have to we have to help from this angle. Perhaps I will not be lighting anything. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so we're gonna pretend that the candle is lit. Okay, and I will share with Pastor Meredith's candle. If that's okay with Pastor Meredith. You know what? That works perfectly well for me. You know, sharing is our, our new faith word this week. There it is up there. We're sharing our faith word poster too. And, um, you know, we talk a lot about sharing at church because we think it's important. What are the kinds of things that, um, that you like to share, Miss Laurie? Oh, I like, I like to share food. I like, yeah, I like to share my house. I like... Um, I like it when my kids share things with other kids, you know, not like a cold or something like that, but you know, when they share toys, um, ideas, I like to share ideas too. I think we do a lot of that. Oh, I think we do too. You can share all kinds of things. We can even share good news, like the good news in the Bible. And it was just Easter. It was just Easter. And today for our Bible story, we are uh, sharing again in that wonderful good news because Easter is not just one day. It goes for a whole season. And so it's important for us to share this story often. So we want to encourage you at home to read together the Bible story about that first Easter. And we're going to be reading it from the book of Matthew in chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. So we hope that you'll read that together with your household, that you'll use your wonder cube if you have that to roll and ask some wonder questions. But our Bible story, it tells that about the first Easter where um, Mary Magdalene and another Mary, they come to the tomb where Jesus's body had been, had been laying. They knew that they had seen Jesus die on the cross and they were so sad and they were so worried and afraid. But when they got to where Jesus's body had been buried, there was an angel there who rolled away the big rock and sat on it and said, he is not here. He is risen. Now you guys get going and share the good news of what you've seen. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I would want to share that news. Oh, I would too. That is good news to share. So let's get ready. We're going to see our Bible story video that is coming up right next. So getting close so you can see our Bible story video. And then let's pray together as we get ready to uh, do that. You ready to pray, Fiona? Mm -hmm. Claude? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's share in a prayer. So let's pray this way. Stay after me. 
Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for good news. Thank you for good news. Amen. Amen. Great. Let's watch our Bible story. All right. Hey friends, I'm Samuel. In our story today, two women show up to an empty tomb. Where was Jesus? Oh wait, let me rewind. Three days before this, something really sad happened. Jesus died. His friends, family, and followers were so, so sad because he was no longer with them. After three days, two women went to see the tomb where he was buried. But when they got there, the tomb was empty. An angel appeared to them and said, do not be afraid. This must have been so shocking. They went to see a tomb where Jesus was laying and instead they saw an empty tomb and an angel. The angel told them that Jesus had risen from the dead and they were asked to go share the news. To share means to offer God's blessings to others. Wow. What an awesome job to have. They got to spread something so exciting and good during such a hard time. The woman thought Jesus' death was the end, but they found out it was actually a new beginning and they got to be a part of this new beginning. They got to tell all their friends that Jesus was not dead and they could celebrate. We are invited to share good news too. We can tell others about good things that remind us of Jesus and help us see more of God's work in the world. One of my friends is really good at this. It doesn't matter what is going on. She always has something to share. That makes us feel better. Last week, we had a really tough week at school because one of our favorite teachers left. A lot of us were really sad. We loved this teacher. My friend came in and invited all of us to share our favorite stories about our teacher. She shared a funny story and we were all laughing by the end of it. Sharing good news is a gift. When there's so much bad news around, it can be hard to find things to talk about that are good news. The awesome thing is that there's something special for each of us to share. We can talk about Jesus, his love, and the amazing news the woman received at the tomb. Good news is always worth sharing. Now it's time for you to wonder. Okay, it is time for our craft time. And you have a little baggie that looks like this. I guess actually it's a big baggie. It's got some construction paper and it's got a bag inside of a bag with a few stickers in it to help us decorate. Now, Easter has already happened. You could go ahead and make an Easter card or you could even make a good news poster that you could share with others. So on my good news poster, I was thinking about this because I get excited about this every year. I'm gonna write here. He is risen. Just like that. So you can make this as simple or as complicated as you want to make it. And then you could take out some of your stickers. And you could decorate it. And everybody got more than one sheet of construction paper. You can just decorate with different things. I've, I've put a bunny there. It actually kind of looks like it's praying. An egg. Right now I actually have a duck in my front that is laying on a bunch of eggs that hopefully we'll get to see hatch someday. So, there's my happy shareable poster. You can put it up in your house, you can give it to a friend, you can give it to an adult, but happy decorating. Thanks guys. Okay, grown-ups, it's me and Fiona. 
and we're here to talk with you about our spiritual practice for this week. So this week is all about sharing good news. So what we want to encourage you to do this week is to find one person that you are comfortable sharing a little bit about your faith to share with them. Share with that person maybe what God has done for you in your life. Share um, how God inspires you, uh, the way that the Bible stories that you love, maybe the richness of those, um, how Jesus' teachings influence you, what Jesus has done in your life. Just one of those things or a couple of those things. And we think that by sharing those things, you're going to find out um, even more about yourself. It'll be a way to share good news with somebody else and that you'll come away with a richer faith life. We know that this takes a little bit of courage. It could just be somebody in your household. It could be one of your kids or your spouse or a real close friend to share that with, particularly if this isn't something that you've done before. We want to encourage you to share that good news and share your faith story this week. Right, Fiona? Right. Thanks, adults. All right, let's do it. All right. Thank you for joining us for another fabulous week of Celebrate Wonder. This was week five. And this week, try to remember to share some good news every day. Maybe with your family, maybe with friends. Share some good news. Think about your day and surely you can find something good in every day to share. This morning, my good news is I love this weather. I love hearing all of the birds. I love watching the dogs play and enjoy the weather too and to just be outside that's my good news I love it I was thinking about some good news I could share and you know one of the things is that I've been able to take a walk every day this week and I that is good news that's good for my body and good for my spirit and so I just wanted to be able to share that and another thing that um, I wanted to share is I've been able to make some new friends at church um, new friends that we met at our Easter services and I think that's really good news Good things to share. Yes. There's always something good in every day. So every day we want it this week for our spiritual practice together is share some of that good news with our household, with our family. We can do that. That sounds like fun. Something else to share. Don't forget your celebration chart. Lots of fun things there. That's also a way of sharing. It is. And you can remember to color your share poster this week to get that going and hang that up. Lot and I will do that this week. He's excited. That is wonderful. Well, good. Well, we have been excited to share this Celebrate Wonder with all of you today. And um, we want to have a prayer before we have our music video together. So shall we have a prayer? Are we ready? Fiona's ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's share our prayer. Say after me. Dear God. Dear God. Help us, help us to share good news. To share, she said to share good news. Amen. Amen. We got to share the wind too. So yeah. excellent. The wind's being very sherry today. It is. That's good. Okay. Make sure you stick around for just a couple more minutes for our music video. Our song this week is Tell Somebody. So let's sing that together and we'll see you again next week. Bye, guys. saw him 
hit the ground.